Copper Basin is known as the toughest 300 miles in Alaska. You see mountains, you have to cross creeks, you, you get cold weather sometimes, you get a lot of snow, you get no snow, uh, you get shelf ice, I can go on and on. Teams start filing into sourdough early Saturday morning. The T has a 23 minute lead on the second place team coming into the halfway point, but when we look at the team's rest remaining, the extra hour and a half of rest required puts him around fourth place, 30 minutes behind Hall, who has been posting consistently fast run times to this point, boasting top run times the first two checkpoints. So, how are you feeling about where you're at? Pretty good. Yeah. Team, team's doing great, they're cranking along. Everything's, need to knock on wood, but everything's holding up so far. Alan seems to think that if you uh, don't slow down a little bit, you might be the team to beat right now. <laughs> Any of that? We'll see. That, uh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. See if we can keep it up. We got two long runs coming up to make or break it all, I guess. On the run to Sourdough, Hall placed third in run speed despite gaining a mile per hour from his previous runs. At 12.2 miles per hour, Hall made the run a full mile per hour slower than Petit. Petit's incredible 13.2 mile per hour run is coming straight off a long rest in Myers. You have to wonder how much Petit's team can have left in the tank after taking back-to-back -back runs to get there, including one of the hardest sections of the trail in mid-distance racing. If he can replicate that speed the next two runs, he could very well take the big prize in Glen Allen. Petit is the first to leave on the 80 mile run to Mandeltna on four and a half hours of rest. Olsen followed an hour later, only a four hour rest for her. One of the shortest rests of any of the top ten in Sourdough. It would be another hour after her departure before the next six teams pulled out of the checkpoint, but then a half hour of each other. <laughs> 